Welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. Well, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Welcome, and we thank you for joining us for today's program. Praise the name of God. This is a program brought to you by Dudley Smith Ministries, and I'm Evangelist Dudley Smith, your host. I know you're going to be blessed by the music today and encouraged and edified and touched by the preaching and teaching of the Word of God. And at the end of our program, we're going to be praying a special prayer of faith just for you. So stay right there. We're going to get started with all of this right after this message. If you're a fan of Southern Gospel music, you'll love our CD title, A Promise Coming Down. Ten great songs that will touch your heart as you feel the joy of the Lord. Songs like A Promise Coming Down the Dusty Road, Something Within Me, He's the One, and Sin Revival Plus, much, much more. Go to our website at www.dudleysmith.net and order your copy today or call toll-free 1-800-852-7664. This CD is one of our favorites and it will become one of yours as well. So order now and get blessed. Hallelujah. Psalms 91 say, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. How many are trusting Him tonight? Hallelujah. storm of life tossed me to and fro and there's a place of refuge that I can go he's a shield for Come the moment, peace will come the moment. 
going to sing that chorus one more time. One more time. I know that. Stretch out your feet tonight. Hallelujah. Grab on to God's refuge. Oh, he's a strong. He's a strong. Well, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. I hope you're rejoicing in the Lord today. You know, the day is, and every day is a good day when God is the Lord of your life. Praise the name of God. And we need to express, hallelujah, our gratitude toward our Father God. Praise the name of Jesus. He's good all the time and all the time, as they say, he is good. Praise the name of God. He's a good God. Hallelujah to God. And he loves you and me praise the name of jesus we've been talking about the value of righteousness or uh, uh the lifestyle of righteousness glory to god forevermore hallelujah i thank god for righteousness i thank god for showing me how glory to god showing me the way praise the name of jesus hallelujah because i don't know the way i didn't know the way hallelujah and i'm still learning the way and you are still learning the way praise the name of God. We're going to continue today now with our discussion on the value of righteousness. Praise God. To me, praise God, that's such a value. Hallelujah. That's better than gold. Hallelujah. Keeps my soul satisfied. Hallelujah. Keeps my heart in the right place. Keep my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah to God. And I'm happy all the day. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. I am blessed the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. We want to look at our, our scripture for today. Praise God out of Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Hallelujah. Let's read what the word of God says. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. The kingdom of God is not what we think. The kingdom of God is not a building. Hallelujah. Or an institution. Glory to God. The kingdom of God is not a denomination. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. The kingdom of God is not some civil idea. Hallelujah to God. None of those things. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But uh, Paul says here, hallelujah to God, that the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is righteousness. Praise the name of God. You can tell somebody who's in the kingdom, they try to walk righteously. They try their best to walk uprightly. Hallelujah. That's, that's being a part of the kingdom. Hallelujah to God. Righteousness, hallelujah to God, becomes a part of our kingdom culture. Hallelujah to God. There's a culture here in the kingdom of God that we exhibit as children of God. Hallelujah to God. When I go to foreign countries, hallelujah, to preach in foreign crusades or foreign meetings, or meetings on foreign lands, folk know that I'm an American. Glory to God. Because I walk, I live, I go, I travel according to the culture that I know. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. I, even my diet. 
reflects the culture that I grew grew up in. Praise God! I don't eat everything uh, uh, that uh, 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 that that's out there. I'm careful about what I put in my body. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. My culture suggests I like this, but I don't like that. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. Um, because of my culture, praise God, I have certain idioms about me, praise God, certain things that I, uh, that I do because of the culture I grew up in. The culture can set your mindset, hallelujah to God, because hallelujah, it's been embedded into you, glory to God. As Christians, old things are passed away, hallelujah, we no longer live after the culture of sin, hallelujah, but behold, all things are are become new, bless the name of Jesus, hallelujah, and now we are learning a new culture, praise the name of Jesus, we're being transformed by the renewing of our mind, hallelujah to God, and now we're reflecting a new culture, hallelujah, of the kingdom of God, bless the name of God, hallelujah, I've often said, it's not what people say, it's what they do, Glory to God. People can come before you and they can confess that they are this and profess that they are that and then say this about themselves and that about themselves. But if you watch them long enough, glory to God, you'll find out that what they said about themselves are not true. It is not true. Watch how they live. Glory to God. And the truth will bear itself out. Hallelujah to God. Why? Because culturally they can't help it. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Christians who are Christians, hallelujah to God, should show Christianity, should show a Christ-like heart and a Christ-like spirit. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah to God. If you say you're a child of God, then you begin to act like your father God. Hallelujah to God. If you say you're a child of the king and Christ is your elder brother, praise God, then you begin to act out, hallelujah, the culture in which you have been begotten. Hallelujah to God. All things are passed away. Now behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. Your mind, your heart, your spirit, even your disposition, your likes and your dislikes, your idioms of any sort will begin to change to reflect the kingdom of God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do you know that someone is from Spain? Praise God. They speak Spanish. Praise the name of God. Our Latin American countries, they speak, uh, 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 they'll speak uh, 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 Spanish. Praise the name of God. When I went to South Africa, I knew an African when I met him because he talked in Afrikaans. Hallelujah to God or whatever language uh, uh, that there were some people there that spoke Dutch. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Some uh, uh, had German speak, uh, speaking people uh, there. Glory to God. You can tell them, hallelujah, by what they say and how they talk. The same way with Christians, hallelujah to God. Folk can tell what culture we are after, hallelujah, what kingdom we are from by how we talk, how we speak, what we speak about, glory to God. What is tantamount on our mind and in our heart, hallelujah, will define what kingdom we are, are, are of. If you say that you're a Christian, yet the things of the world are tantamount in your heart, it's going to come out. You're going to begin to speak those things. Hallelujah. And folk will begin to say, they're not what they say they are. Hallelujah to God. But if Jesus is the Lord of your life, hallelujah, and you're in the kingdom of God, hallelujah, you begin to reflect kingdom things. Praise God. You begin to reflect that culture. You talk like you're in the kingdom. You walk and act like you're in the kingdom. You're a part of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So what are those things? Hallelujah to God. Number one, and and at the top of the list was righteousness. Hallelujah. That's why it is important. Hallelujah. To develop a righteous lifestyle. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. And so uh, a righteousness is at the top. It defines first and foremost who we are. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of Jesus. To look at me, praise God, without me saying anything or doing anything doesn't necessarily say that I'm just African-American. Praise the name of God. It says that I am African descent. Praise the name of God. But hey, I could be from France. I could be from Italy. I don't know if there's many uh, 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 blacks in Italy or, or, or France or, 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 or that, 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 you know, that thing. I could be from Germany. 
You'll never know if I never say anything, if I just stood still and you just looked at me. Hallelujah. But if you watch me and you're watching my ways and you see, glory to God, how I talk, praise God. You see uh, what my heart is after, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Then you begin to surmise that this person is from that country or that part country or that com uh, uh, country. It's the same way with Christianity. Glory to God. I can look at you or you can look at me. You wouldn't know if I was a Christian or not. Glory to God. I could be a heathen uh, to the 10th degree. You would never know it if I don't ever do anything. Hallelujah. But when I begin to move and when I begin to uh, uh, live life, glory to God, then you can look at me and my life will define what I am. And you will know as well. Glory to God. Righteousness defines us. Hallelujah to God. Righteousness identify us as a citizen of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. When somebody asks you, are you saved? What they're asking in essence is, are you a citizen of the kingdom of God? Hallelujah to God. Are you really a citizen of the kingdom of God? Hallelujah to God. You know, hallelujah. People say, well, I thought that person was a Christian. Or I thought that person was a Christian. But their lifestyle don't say they are because they, you know, they, they do the things. It's the same thing that the world does. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you are, 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 are of the kingdom, righteousness identifies you as a, a, a citizen of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah to God. What does righteousness, uh, uh, do? what does it, uh, it do? Secondly, righteousness testifies that you belong to God. It testifies that you belong to God. Hallelujah to God forevermore. Football players play football. Singers sing. Teachers teach. Welders well so forth and so on. Hallelujah to God. Christians, hallelujah to God, glory to God, uh, and their life testifies of who they are and who they belong to. Praise the name of Jesus. You belong to God, you're going to act like you do. Praise the name of God. I used to have people tell me when I was growing up, boy, you sing like your mother or you act like your father. Hallelujah to God. They knew that I was the child of my parents because, glory to God, I act like a child of my parents. Praise the name of God. I picked up certain things. I had certain giftings. Praise the name of Jesus by my parents. Glory to God forevermore. Hallelujah to God. Righteousness then testifies that we belong to to God. I want to walk righteous. Hallelujah to God. I am not ashamed of God. And you should never be ashamed of God. Praise. Hallelujah to God. You should never be ashamed of him. Hallelujah to God. Now, I said this in the times past, and I'll say it again, that hypocrisy is the absence of righteousness in our life. Say one thing, live another thing. Say, say, say one thing about ourselves and exhibit something else. Praise God. That's blatant hypocrisy. Praise the name of God. We got to be who we say we are. Hallelujah. We got to walk like we say uh, we are part of the kingdom of God. We got to tell, hallelujah, the truth about ourselves. Glory to God. And if we're not, if we're not there, then we got to seek for it. Praise God. Find out, uh, hallelujah, where we're missing it and get to it. Praise God. Apply ourselves to it. Glory to God. Go after it. Run after it. Praise God. Because Jesus has supplied it. Hallelujah to God. Has given us, as I said in our last, praise God, uh, session, an abundance of grace. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. To be what we need to be. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Simple. If my life is what is if, if my life is what is what I say it is, it's going to exhibit it. Hallelujah to God. I used to be a baker. Glory to God. I bake pies, cakes, breads, and all those kind of things. Praise God. In in, in a prominent uh, a bakery in in Baton Rouge when I lived in Baton Rouge. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah God. And it's what I did. And it's what I did every day. Praise the name of Jesus. It wasn't just w one day a week or. I was a baker when I wasn't at work. Praise God. I was still a baker. Glory to God. I would still show the attributes of being a baker, the characteristics of being a baker. Glory to God. That's what I was. 
Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Now that I'm in the ministry, praise God, I can't get away from being a preacher. Glory to God. I didn't want to be a preacher when I was growing up. Glory to God. But here I am. I'm preaching. Glory to God. And I am a preacher. Praise the name of God. And everywhere I go, I act like a preacher. I talk like a preacher. I walk like a preacher. I have the mind of a preacher. Praise the name of God. Because it's who I am. Hallelujah to God. Righteousness defines who we are. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. It defines that we belong to God, but it also defines, hallelujah, the, the fact, hallelujah, that we have the nature of God. I'm going to have the tendency, hallelujah, of God and uh, are after the character of Jesus Christ. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. And it's going to testify to the fact that, hey, I'm from the kingdom. I'm from the kingdom of of God, not the kingdom of France, not the kingdom of England, not the kingdom of the U.S., but I am from the kingdom of God. Praise God, ultimately. Praise God. Yes, I was born here in the, in the United States. Praise God. And I do th some things that the United States people do. Praise God. Hallelujah. But in my heart and in my spirit, hallelujah, I am of the kingdom of God. You are of the kingdom of God. And so, it's time to begin to walk that out and be what God has called you to be. Be what God has made you to be. Now, here's the interesting thing about it, that in every culture, hallelujah to God, there are benefits of being in that culture. Hallelujah. Being in the kingdom of God brings us every benefit and every promise that God has in his word. Hallelujah to God. That nothing is withheld from us because we walk after righteousness, hallelujah to God. Not one promise is hindered from us because we walk after righteousness. We're doing our best, hallelujah, every, every day and every day to live right before the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus because we're in the culture of the kingdom of God, hallelujah, and we're living after his righteousness. We are encouraged to follow after righteousness. Hallelujah to God. So the question B would be that are you following after righteousness? Are you following the kingdom of God? Hallelujah. Are you living like God is your father? Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Are you exhibiting the character of Christ? Hallelujah. And walking in the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah to God forevermore. It identifies you with who you are. Hallelujah. Righteousness. The Bible also says peace. The kingdom of God is peace. Hallelujah. God's people are peaceful people. Did you get that? Glory to God. God's people are peaceful people. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. We have peace and we are peaceful. Praise God. That's part of being the, in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Well, I, when I worked as, a, 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 as, as a, 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 an artist uh, 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 for uh, a large ministry, praise God. Glory to God. Our supervisor taught me something uh, uh, that he probably didn't even know he was teaching me, but I, I watched his life. This guy has such a peace about him. Glory to God. And I thought to myself, man, I'd like to have what he has. Hallelujah. He was a very peaceful man. Nothing really shook him. Not that I know. I never saw him get shaken over anything. Praise God. But what I did see him do was exhibit faith. Hallelujah. In God. And that God had everything under control. It didn't fly. He didn't get mad. He never slammed his fist on the desk. He was as even as even ever been. Glory to God forevermore. He was a peaceful man. Hallelujah to God forevermore. And it taught me, praise God, that God's people are peaceful people. That's a part of being in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah to God. The Bible says, hallelujah, that not only do we have peace, but we have joy. Hallelujah to God. I am sick and tired of all of these mully grubbing Christians. Hallelujah to God. At that, oh, woe is me. I have no hope. Praise God. I'm sorry, folk. We are missing it. God. Hallelujah to God. Jesus is our Praise the name of God. And we have been given the gift of the Holy Ghost. 
What's to, what's the fuss over? Praise Jesus. Hallelujah to God. We let the devil come in and steal our joy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We let the devil come in and take our liberty and ruin our worship. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. But it ought not be. We are in the kingdom. And one of the one of the characteristics of being in the kingdom is that we are happy. Hallelujah. Joyful. We got joy. Joy in the morning. Joy in the noonday. Joy when the sun go down. Praise the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. The Bible says happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Happy is the people. Hallelujah to God forevermore. If you're saved, you ought to be happy. Glory to God. My God, because you're God's child. Hallelujah. We are the children of the most high God. And you should be rejoicing every day. Hallelujah. Rejoicing and being happy. Glory to God is a characteristic of being in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rejoicing and being happy, glory to God, is a characteristic of being in the kingdom. Glory to God. So you got three characteristics here that have been stated. Glory to God. That number one, we follow after righteousness. Praise the name of God. Number two, praise God that we are people of peace. Glory to God. We have peace. We show peace and we sow peace. Praise the name of Jesus. Number three, glory to God, that we are joyful. Praise the name of God. We are full of joy. Hallelujah to God. We are full of the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Hallelujah. This is the value that righteousness brings to us. Peace and joy. Of course, there's love. Hallelujah to God. And it brings praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. Aren't you glad about this? Hallelujah to God. I show hope that this is inspiring you and bringing edification to your life. Glory to God. I got to stop right here. Praise the name of God. Come back and be with me again. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of Jesus. We love you. God bless you. And I will see you again. Well, it looks like our time for this program has come and gone, but I pray God that you were blessed today. Glory to God. I'd like to take a moment and just pray with you for your miracle, for your need. Let's believe God together. Father, in Jesus' name, God, touch your people right now, God. Somebody needs a miracle in their body, a healing in their body. We speak that healing right now, Father, and we receive it, God, because it has been made, Father, by the shedding of the blood of the Lamb at Calvary. Father, somebody needs deliverance, Father. Bring deliverance to their life, Father, in Jesus' name, God. We believe you, Father. We believe your word, God, and we thank you for these miracles in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We will thank you again for being with us today. Now, if this program has been a blessing to you in any way, why don't you contact us? And you can write me at Dudley Smith at BellSouth.net. That's Dudley Smith at BellSouth.net. Or you can write me at Dudley Smith Ministries, P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro. North Carolina 27532. That's Dudley Smith Ministries, P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro, North Carolina 27532. And remember that any of our books and music that are advertised on this program can be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmith.net. I look forward to seeing you again for another edition of The Abiding Word. May God bless you. Today is our prayer. The Lord is doing some wonderful things through this ministry, and we are expanding in our reach in gospel works. We are getting more and more invitations to do crusades on foreign soil. Additional opportunities to expand our TV broadcasts have come to our door, plus we desire to feed more hungry families through our feed Hungry America campaign. We're asking you to help meet the needs of this ministry by giving a gift of $10, $20, $50, or even $100. We know there are many ministries and charities vying for your donor dollars, but if you believe in us and the gospel we preach, please consider becoming a partner donor with us. We would honestly appreciate your help. Go to our website at www.dudleysmith.net and click the Partner Giving tab 
in our bookstore to send your donation today. It is safe, quick, and all gifts are tax deductible. We sincerely thank you for your giving and know that God will bless you richly for doing so. May you always prosper and be in good health. Amen.